Today I am going to explain the symmetry properties of N2F2 molecule. Before understanding the symmetry properties of this molecule, let's have a very good introduction of this molecule. Actually this N2F2 molecule is a covalent planar molecule and each nitrogen of this N2F2 molecule is sp2 hybridized and the very good thing about this molecule is that this molecule has two isomers, first is cis and next one is trans. Today we will try to understand the symmetry properties of cis N2F2 molecule. Before understanding this symmetry property of this molecule, let's draw the structure of cis isomer of this molecule. The structure of cis isomer of this molecule is like that, in which two fluorine atom lying on the same side and two lone pair of electrons lying on the same side. Now in this molecule many symmetry elements are present. We will try to search each symmetry element one by one. First we will search the proper axis of rotation in this molecule. That is CN operation. How many CN are there? Right. For getting the idea of this proper axis rotation, I can redraw the structure of cis isomer of this N2F2 molecule. This also, the lone pair will be on same side and the fluorine atom will be on same side. For our understanding market, this fluorine is 1, this fluorine is 2. Right. Now this molecule is planar, so try to see the plane of this molecule. Right. This is the plane of the molecule, which is the plane of paper. Now in this molecule many axes are there, but all axes are not the proper axis of rotation. Let's see the first axis of rotation, which is lying in the molecular plane and bisecting the line joining the two nitrogen atom. When we will do the symmetry operation of this molecule that is rotation by 180 degree about this P and Q axis, right, then we are getting a new configuration of the molecule which is like that and which the new configuration will seems like that and we see that the new configuration is equivalent to the original one right so this pq is a proper axis of rotation c an operation is present in this molecule right about in this molecule many axes are there but those axes are not the proper axis of rotation as for example one axis of rotation in this molecule is there which is passing through the two nitrogen atom which is passing through the two nitrogen atom and bisecting the line joining the fluorine and the orbital containing the lone pair of electron. When we perform the C2 operation about this molecule then we get a new configuration of this molecule right in which the fluorine atom is like that and this is the lone pair of the electron. You see that this new configuration is totally devoid of the original one. Right, so actually, sorry, sorry, this is the F2 and this is the F1. So this C configuration is not equivalent to the original one. That's why this axis will not be the proper axis of rotation. Now one more axis in this molecule is there which is not a symmetry element. See that this axis is the red one axis. Right. When we do this C2 operation about this then we will get a configuration of this molecule right and this configuration this F2 will come this side and this F1 will come this side and this is the lone pair of leptin. Again this configuration D 
new configuration is not equivalent to the original one. So again, this is not a proper axis of rotation. This is not a proper axis of rotation. So meaning is that this molecule have only one proper axis of rotation, which is your what? C2, right? And this C2 is lying in molecular plane and bisecting the line joining to nitrogen at as there is only one C2 so we will consider this C2 as a what principal axis of rotation now next symmetry element is we are going to search this plane of symmetry For getting the idea of plane of symmetry, again we will draw the structure of cis and 2f2 molecule. So we draw the structure of cis and 2f2 molecule. This is a cis and 2f2 molecule. Right. And this is the lone pair of the electron. Again, this is the f1, and this is the f2. Now, as we know that this molecule is planar, so this is the what? Plane of this molecule we know that whenever we see the plane of the molecule then we will think that we will replace this plane of molecule with the mirror so this is the plane of the molecule try to reflect the molecule through this mirror then we will see that one molecule image will form which seems like that right this is the image of this molecule which is going to reflect through the molecular plane then we are getting this new configuration which is equivalent to the original one so we can say that this plane is the plane of symmetry now questions that this plane is a plane of symmetry is it vertical plane or horizontal plane so we know that this plane is having principal axis of rotation so plane containing principal axis of rotation will consider as a what vertical plane so this sigma v is present this molecule this is the vertical plane and this is nothing it is the molecular plane right now in this molecule one more plane is present again redraw the structure of this molecule cis molecule which is again the same structure f1 this is the f2 this is the lone pair of electron this is lone pair of electron this molecule again try to see that plane of this molecule this is the plane of this molecule which is the molecular plane right that plane is present on the principal axis only right try to see this plane which is present on the principal axis so this is the plane right plane means what mirror now see that when you will do the reflection when you will try to see the reflection of this molecule through this mirror then you will find that the reflection of this part is this side the reflection of this part is this side so meaning is that after the reflection you will get one new configuration of the molecule in which the f1 position will exchange with the f2 and the f2 exchange with the f1 and again there is a change in the position of the lone pair but after the exchange of position it is very difficult to see that see some change so again we see that the new structure b is again equivalent to the word one right so we can say that this plane is a what molecular plane now this plane is a molecular plane but is it vertical or horizontal so again we see that this plane is on the principal axis that means this plane is containing the principal axis so this plane is a vertical plane but this vertical plane is different from this vertical plane because this vertical plane is perpendicular to the molecular plane so this sigma v dash is also a vertical plane 
right but this plane is perpendicular to the what molecular plane right so now in this molecule inversion inversion center is not there right and this molecule will have the one more symmetry operation that is its own identity operation so total number of symmetry operation is in this molecule is what 1 c2 1 sigma v 1 sigma v dash and distinct symmetry operation of this molecule is E identity C2 sigma V and sigma V dash. So total order of symmetry is 4.